The Evangelical Lutheran Church in America is a mainline Protestant Lutheran church headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. The ELCA officially came into existence on January 1, 1988, by the merging of three Lutheran church bodies. As of 2016, it has approximately 3.5 million baptized members in 9,252 congregations. In 2015, Pew Research estimated that 2.1% of the U.S. population self-identifies with the ELCA and mainline Lutheranism. It is the seventh largest religious body and the largest Lutheran denomination in the United States. The next two largest Lutheran denominations are the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod LCMS with approximately 2.1 million members and the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod Wells with approximately 360,000 members. There are also many smaller Lutheran church bodies in the United States, some of which came into being composed of dissidents following the major 1988 merger. The ELCA belongs to the World Council of Churches and the Lutheran World Federation. The ELCA is in full communion with the Episcopal Church, Moravian Church, Presbyterian Church USA, Reformed Church in America, United Church of Christ, and the United Methodist Church. History in 1970, a survey by Strauman et al. found that 79% of Lutheran Church in America clergy, 62% of American Lutheran Church clergy, and 58% of Lutheran Church Missouri Synod clergy surveyed agreed that, "...a merger of all Lutheran groups in the United States into one organization is desirable." The ELCA formally came into existence on January 1, 1988, creating the largest Lutheran Church body in the United States. The church is a result of a merger among the American Lutheran Church ALC with its headquarters in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Lutheran Church in America LCA centered in New York City, New York and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and the Association of Evangelical Lutheran Churches AELC which had earlier withdrawn from the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod after 1975, all of which had formally agreed in 1982 to unite after several years of discussions. The ALC and LCA were themselves the product of previous mergers. The American Lutheran Church In 1960, the American Lutheran Church was formed as a merger of the earlier ALC of 1930 from German heritage, the United Evangelical Lutheran Church of Danish background, and the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Norwegian background. The Lutheran Free Church joined three years later in 1963. The ALC brought approximately 2.25 million members into the new ELCA. It was the most theologically conservative of the forming bodies, having a heritage of old Lutheran theology. It had been in fellowship for a decade with the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod and officially held to biblical inerrancy in its constitution, although it seldom enforced that stance by means of heresy trials or other doctrinal discipline. Its geographic center was in the Upper Midwest, especially Minnesota, with headquarters and publisher Augsburg Publishing House on South 5th Street in Minneapolis and one of its several seminaries in neighboring St. Paul. Its denominational magazine was the Lutheran Standard, published in Minneapolis. Some congregations in the ALC opted not to join the 1988 merger and instead formed the American Association of Lutheran Churches. The Lutheran Church in America Topic. The Lutheran Church in America LCA had been created in 1962, when the United Lutheran Church in America, itself created by the merger of three earlier German Lutheran synods in the eastern U.S. In 1918, along with the Swedish background Augustana Evangelical Lutheran Church, the Finnish Evangelical Lutheran Church of America, and the Danish immigrants in the American Evangelical Lutheran Church. The LCA was the slightly larger partner and brought approximately 2.85 million members into the new ELCA. Their administrative offices were in the Church House, a former townhouse mansion on Madison Avenue in New York City. Its publishing house, Fortress Press, was on Queens Lane in northwest Philadelphia, and produced the church magazine, The Lutheran. Its demographic focus was on the East Coast, centered on Pennsylvania, with large numbers in the Midwest and some presence in the southern Atlantic states. 
There are notable exceptions, but LCA background churches tend to be more liturgical than ALC background churches. Its theological orientation ranged from moderately liberal to neo-Orthodox, with tendencies toward conservative Pietism in some rural and small town congregations. Its theology originated in the Neo-Lutheran movement. The Association of Evangelical Lutheran Churches In 1976, the Association of Evangelical Lutheran Churches was formed by 250 congregations that had left the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod in a schism precipitated by disputes over biblical inerrancy and ecumenism as part of the overall fundamentalist modernist controversy that was roiling American Protestant churches for several decades. The LCMS elected more conservative leadership in 1969 under President Jacob A. O. Prius, replacing moderate incumbent Oliver Harms. The new leadership opened an investigation at the Synod's Concordia Seminary in St. Louis, Missouri, about the faculty's commitment to inerrancy in biblical interpretation. As a result, most of the faculty and student body walked out and established a separate institution named Concordia Seminary in Exile but usually referred to as Seminex. The AELC brought approximately 100,000 members into the ELCA. Its immigrant heritage came mostly from Germany in the mid-19th century. The complexion of its theology generally resembled that of the LCA. Organization <inaudible> 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 The ELCA is headed by a presiding bishop, who is elected by the church-wide assembly for a term of six years it was a four-year term until 1995. To date, four people have been elected to the position of presiding bishop of the ELCA. Herbert W. Chilstrom served as the first presiding bishop from 1987 to 1995. He was followed by H. George Anderson 1995 to 2001, who had previously been the president of Luther College. The third presiding bishop was Mark Hansen, who is the past president of the Lutheran World Federation, headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. Hansen began his tenure as bishop of the church in 2001 and was re-elected in August 2007 for a second term. Elizabeth Eaton was elected presiding bishop in August 2013 and took office on November 1, 2013. In addition, there is the body of the Church Council composed of representatives elected for a stated number of years from the various synods which meet regularly with legislative powers in between sessions of the church-wide assemblies. The Conference of Bishops, which meets at least twice a year, is formed of 66 bishops the 65 elected synodical bishops, together with the presiding bishop plus the Elka Church Secretary. It is consulted by the presiding bishop and the church council for advice on matters of doctrine, faith and order, and ecumenical relations. The ELCA website states that, while primarily advisory, the role of the conference of bishops is significant within the life of this church. The ELCA is divided into 65 synods, one of which is non-geographical the Slovak Zion Synod and 64 regional synods in the United States and the Caribbean, each headed by a synodical bishop and council. These synods are in turn grouped into nine regions. Within the ELCA the term synod refers to the middle judicatory, which is referred to in some other denominations as presbyteries, districts, conferences, or dioceses, the most ancient and traditional term. In other Christian churches, the term synod is used for a meeting or conference of ministers such as priests or bishops of a diocese, province, region, or nation or in some Protestant churches as the term for their annual governing convention. Some evangelical Lutheran denominations overseas continue to use the ancient church title of diocese. Outside of the United States, ELCA also has congregations in the Caribbean region Bahamas which is combined with Florida in one synod, Bermuda, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands and one congregation in the border city of Windsor, Ontario, a member of the Slovak Zion Synod. Before 1986, some of the congregations that form the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada were part of the ELCA's predecessor churches. Within the church structure are divisions addressing many programs and ministries. Among these are support for global mission, outdoor ministries, campus ministries, social ministries, and education. 
They include the Lutheran Peace Fellowship, Lutheran Women's Caucus, Lutheran Volunteer Corps, and the Lutheran Youth Organization Elka Youth Gathering formerly known in predecessor denominations as the Luther League. They cooperate with an ecumenical inter-Lutheran college, university student organization known as the Lutheran Student Movement USA founded in 1922 and reorganized in 1969. The denominational publishing house is Augsburg Fortress, and the official denominational magazine is Living Lutheran. Elka predecessor bodies established 26 colleges and universities now affiliated with the Elka and a large number of associated theological seminaries, some of which are associated with neighboring universities or theological consortia. Most local congregations are legally independent non-profit corporations within the state where they are located that own their own property. Actual governing practice within the congregation ranges from congregational voters' assemblies or annual and special congregational meetings to elder and council-led, to congregations where the senior pastor wields great, if informal, power more common in larger churches. Church-wide assemblies the church-wide assembly meets biennially in odd-numbered years and consists of elected lay and ordained voting members. Between meetings of the church-wide assembly, the Elka Church Council governs the denomination, along with the advisory conference of bishops. At the assembly, elections are held for general officers of the church such as the presiding bishop, vice president and secretary, budgets are adopted, social statements examined and approved and various other church business enacted along with reports made and ecumenical visitors acknowledged. A constitutional amendment passed in 2011 that will switch it to a triennially meeting after 2013. In both predecessor churches, the assembly was known as the General Convention in the ALC and the Biennial Convention in the LCA. 1987 Columbus, Ohio, Elka Constituting Convention. 1989 Chicago, Illinois. 1991 Orlando, Florida. 1993 Kansas City, Missouri 1995 Minneapolis, Minnesota 1997 Philadelphia, Pennsylvania 1999 Denver, Colorado 2001 Indianapolis, Indiana 2003 Milwaukee, Wisconsin 2005 Orlando, Florida 2007 Chicago, Illinois 2009 Minneapolis, Minnesota 2011 Orlando, Florida 2013 Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania 2016 New Orleans, Louisiana Topic. Beliefs Topic. Topic. Lutheranism Topic. Lutheranism is associated with the German reformer Martin Luther, with its official confessional writings found in the Book of Concord. The Elke accepts the unaltered Augsburg Confession not the Variata as a true witness to the Gospel. The Elke is less conservative than the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod or the even more conservative Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod Wells, the second and third largest Lutheran bodies in the United States respectively. Although having a sizable conservative minority, most Elka Lutherans are theological immoderate to liberal. Most other Lutheran bodies in the U.S. hold more strictly to confessional Lutheranism, Pietism, or a combination of the two, than the Elka does. Topic. Differences within the Elka Topic. The Elka has many differences of opinion among its constituent congregations, which have caused a number of disputes over social and doctrinal issues. In part, this is due to the fact that it assimilated three different Lutheran church bodies, each with its own factions and divisions, thus inheriting old intra-group conflicts while creating new inter-group ones. Differences on issues usually reflect theological disputes between various parties. The Elka is a very broad denomination. It contains groups of socially conservative or liberal factions with emphases on various topics such as liturgical renewal, confessional Lutheranism, charismatic revivalism, moderate to liberal theology, and liberal activism. 
The socially liberal segment of the ELCA is represented by independent organizations such as Lutherans Concerned, North America, Extraordinary Lutheran Ministries, and the Evangelical and Ecumenical Women's Caucus. A socially conservative Lutheran organization, once within, and now departed from the ELCA opposed to the denomination. S stance on openly gay clergy is the Lutheran Coalition for Renewal Lutheran Corps. Adherents of Evangelical Catholicism practice High Church Lutheranism and include the members of the Society of the Holy Trinity. Those oriented toward confessional Lutheranism, Evangelicalism, or an admixture of the two include the Word Alone Network and those involved with Lutheran congregations in Mission for Christ. Members of the Charismatic Movement include congregations and pastors associated with the Alliance of Renewal Churches. Additionally, there has been a recent growth in Franciscan spirituality in the ELCA through the Order of Lutheran Franciscans. Topic. Scripture Topic. The ELCA Constitution states this Church accepts the canonical scriptures of the Old and New Testaments as the inspired Word of God and the authoritative source and norm of its proclamation, faith, and life." Elka clergy tend not to subscribe to a doctrine of biblical inerrancy, but see validity in various scholarly methods of analysis to help in understanding the Bible. This is in concord with most moderate Protestant bodies and in contrast to the LCMS and Wells, which practice the historical grammatical method of biblical interpretation. Sacraments Like other Lutheran Church bodies, the ELCA confesses at least two sacraments, communion or the Eucharist and holy baptism including infant baptism. Confession and absolution is often included as a sacrament, however, as it is a return to the forgiveness given in baptism, strictly speaking there are only two sacraments. Guidance on sacramental practices in the ELCA is provided in the use of the means of grace, a statement adopted by the 1997 Churchwide Assembly. In addition to the two sacraments, ELCA churches also practice acts that are sacramental in character, or sacramentals. These include confirmation, ordination, anointing the sick, confession and absolution, and marriage. Their practice and their view as minor sacraments varies between churches of a high and low church nature. With respect to the Eucharist, the Elka holds to the Lutheran doctrine of the sacramental union, that is, that Christ's body and blood is truly present in, with and under the bread and wine. All communicants orally receive not only bread and wine, but also the same body and blood of Christ that was given for them on the cross. Members of other denominations sometimes refer to this as a belief in consubstantiation. Lutherans, however, reject the philosophical explanation of consubstantiation, preferring to see the presence of the Lord's body and blood as mysterious rather than explainable by human philosophy. The Lutheran belief in the mysterious character of the consecrated bread and wine is more similar to Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox belief than most Protestants. In contrast, most Protestant church bodies doubt or openly deny that the true body and blood of Christ is eaten in the Lord's Supper. Unlike certain other American Lutheran church bodies, the ELCA practices open communion, permitting all persons baptized in the name of the Trinity with water to receive communion. Some congregations also commune baptized infants similarly to Eastern Orthodox practice. The ELCA encourages its churches to practice the Eucharist at all services, although some churches alternate between non-communion services with those containing the Lord's Supper. Topic. Social issues Topic. The ELCA's stances on social issues are outlined in its social statements and messages. Social statements, which must be adopted by a two-thirds majority of a church-wide assembly, have been adopted on the following topics. Topic. Role of women Topic. The ELCA ordains women as pastors, a practice that all three of its predecessor churches adopted in the 1970s. Some have become synod bishops. In 2013, Elizabeth Eaton became the first woman to be elected presiding bishop of the ELCA. The most recent ELCA hymnal, Evangelical Lutheran Worship, includes alternate gender-neutral invocations and benedictions in all settings. 
All of the psalms and many of the hymns and parts of the liturgy have been altered to remove masculine pronouns referring to God. In 2000, the Cooperative Clergy Study Project surveyed 681 ELCA pastors and found that 95% of ELCA clergy thought that all clergy positions should be open to women, while 2% disagreed. Topic. Ordination of LGBT clergy and blessings of same-sex marriages Topic. On August 21, 2009, the ELCA's church-wide assembly in Minneapolis voted to allow congregations to call and ordain gays and lesbians in committed monogamous relationships to serve as clergy. By a vote of 559 to 451, delegates approved a resolution declaring that the church would find a way for people in publicly accountable, lifelong, monogamous same-gender relationships to serve as official ministers. Congregations that do not wish to call these persons to ordained ministry are not required by these policy changes to do so. In reaction, Lutheran Corps, which opposed the decision, stated that it would initiate a process that we hope will lead to a reconfiguration of North American Lutheranism." In February 2010, Lutheran Corps announced that it would secede from the ELCA and form a new denomination to be named the North American Lutheran Church As of 2008, 37% of ELCA pastors were found to support same-sex marriage. The ELCA, in removing sexual orientation as a bar for candidacy in the professional ministry, joined most of its Lutheran sister churches in Europe, including in Germany, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Iceland, and Austria. The ELCA is also among a growing number of Christian churches in the United States to make this move. In contrast, the board of one of the ELCA's partner churches, October 2009, the Evangelical Makane Yesus Fellowship in North America, voted to declare disunity with the ELCA. A press release stated that the board was no longer, in good conscience, able to commune and partner with ELCA Church that has willfully disobeyed the Word of God and regrettably departed from the clear instructions of the Holy Scriptures. That Marriage is only between a man and a woman. This was followed by the General Synod of Ethiopian Evangelical Church Makane Yesus also breaking links with the ELCA. In April 2010, the Church Council of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America adopted revisions to ministry policy documents to bring them in line with the August 2009 vote, as well as adding sections on integrity, substance abuse, and addiction. The release noted that the revised ministry policies would be posted on the church's website by the end of April 2010. Since August 2009, according to the Office of the ELCA Secretary, over 600 congregations have left the ELCA through January 2011. Income has declined, with a projected income of $48 million in 2011, down from a budgeted $51 million in 2010, and a total budget of $88 million in 2005. On May 31, 2013, Guy Irwin became the first openly gay man to be chosen bishop in the ELCA when he was elected to a six-year term as bishop of the Southwest California Synod. In 2015, the denomination ordained, officially, the first transgender pastor, also in 2015. After the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage nationally in the U.S., the Office of the Presiding Bishop released a letter informing members that each congregation is free to marry gay and lesbian couples or to choose not to do so. Since 2009 blessings of same-sex marriages are allowed in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Topic. Creation and evolution Topic. The ELCA has not adopted an official position on creation or evolution, but there is general agreement on interpreting the Bible within its historical contexts and applying critical methods of research. In 2000, the Cooperative Clergy Study Project surveyed 681 ELCA pastors and found that 26% of ELCA clergy thought scientific creationism should be taught alongside evolution in biology classes, while 57% disagreed. Topic. Reproductive cloning Topic. The ELCA has not yet taken an official position regarding reproductive cloning. However, Task Force on Genetics of the Church's Church in Society initiative is studying the theological and ethical issues that the world is likely to face in coming years as a result of genetic science. The Task Force has issued a draft report for comment and discussion. The draft statement covers a wide range of topics, from genetic testing to GMOs. 
A section in this report which has been described by an independent reviewer as a remarkably nuanced analysis and statement regarding a very complex scientific, social, and religious issue. Quote, the task force recommends opposition to reproductive cloning, as almost all religious groups currently do. However, the main theological reasoning is unique. Louis D. Eigen explains, The argument they articulate is not the common but weak argument that it would be offensive to God, against the will of God, or man encroaching into God's domain, but they observe that the clone would be denied the dignity of possessing a unique human genotype. This is an extremely interesting argument, that each and every human being has the right to his or her own uniqueness, particularly a unique genotype. The draft statement further asserts that any clones that might be created should have full acceptance as human beings and access to rights of the church. Topic. Abortion Topic. The issue of abortion is a matter of contention within the ELCA. In a social statement adopted in 1991, the Church set out its position on the matter as follows. The ELCA describes itself as a community supportive of life and encourages women to explore alternatives to abortion such as adoption. However, the social statement asserts that there are certain circumstances under which a decision to end a pregnancy can be morally responsible. These include cases where the pregnancy presents a clear threat to the physical life of the woman. Situations where the pregnancy occurs when both parties do not participate willingly in sexual intercourse, and circumstances of extreme fetal abnormality, which will result in severe suffering and very early death of an infant. Regardless of the reason, the ELCA opposes abortion when a fetus is developed enough to live outside a uterus with the aid of reasonable and necessary technology. The ELCA opposes laws that deny access to safe and affordable services for morally justifiable abortions," and "...laws that are primarily intended to harass those contemplating or deciding for an abortion." The statement emphasizes the prevention of circumstances leading to abortion, specifically encouraging appropriate forms of sex education in schools, community pregnancy prevention programs, and parenting preparation classes. In 2000, the Cooperative Clergy Study Project found that one-fifth of ELCA clergy favored banning abortion with a constitutional amendment. Euthanasia The ELCA official statement on end-of-life decisions Adopted on November 9, 1992, disapproves euthanasia. We oppose the legalization of physician assisted death, which would allow the private killing of one person by another. Public control and regulation of such actions would be extremely difficult, if not impossible. The potential for abuse, especially of people who are most vulnerable, would be substantially increased. <laughs> Ministry Topic. As a Lutheran church body, the ELCA professes belief in the priesthood of all believers, as reflected in Martin Luther's To the Christian Nobility of the German Nation, that all baptized persons have equal access to God and are all called to use their gifts to serve the body of Christ. Some people are called to rostered ministry or vocations of church leadership and service. After formation, theological training, and approval by local synods, these people are set aside, but not above, through ordination or commissioning, consecration. More and more ELCA congregations are employing specialized and even general ministers outside of this national oversight. An extensive study of ministry was embarked upon immediately after the 1988 merger as it became apparent that there were still discordant viewpoints and influences, especially by the pressure for a renewal of the office of deacon and its different manifestations to a more ancient and traditional view predating the Reformation into the earliest days of Christianity. The Church makes a clear distinction between the deacon's ministry of word and service, and the pastor's ministry of word and sacrament. In Elka the word ordination refers specifically to the setting apart of an ordained pastor in the ministry of word and sacrament. The similar right for setting apart a bishop is called installation, and the right for setting apart a deacon is called consecration. 
All three rites for bishops, pastors, and deacons are formal liturgies, with prayer and the laying on of hands by the bishop, or by the presiding bishop in the case of the installation of a new bishop. The Elka now since 2000 requires all installations of new bishops to include the laying on of hands by not fewer than three bishops who are known to be within the historic line of apostolic succession. Deacons. Topic. Deacons are called to a ministry of word and service. The former lay rosters of deaconess, diaconal minister, and associate in ministry were all merged onto one roster, called deacons, beginning in January 2017. Deacons serve in many roles in and beyond congregations. At their consecration they may be presented with a towel and basin in reference to Jesus washing the feet of his disciples as a sign of their servant ministry, but the rite of consecration published in January 2017 also allows for other symbols to be presented, reflecting the broad range of diaconal service. The rite states, other symbols of the ministry of word and service may be given, which may reflect a particular focus of the deacon's call and vocation, such as a vessel containing oil, a Bible, or the book of worship. Pastors An ordained minister is called to the ministry of word and sacrament and considered a steward of the mysteries of the church the means of grace. Pastors primarily serve congregations, but some serve in sector ministries including those of hospital chaplain and military chaplain. Pastors are ordinarily trained at one of eight ELCA seminaries located throughout the United States, although there are alternative paths for ordination to serve particular communities in which it is difficult to provide trained leaders or to allow rostering of clergy transferred from other denominations. Pastors generally hold a Bachelor of Arts degree or its equivalent, as well as a four-year Master of Divinity degree. They are required to learn Biblical Hebrew and Greek, and spend at least a summer doing clinical pastoral education. An intensive program that gives them time to reflect on their pastoral craft, usually in a hospital setting. They are required to complete a one-year internship of full-time service in pastoral ministry. Bishops A bishop is a pastor called to serve usually for a six-year term, which may be renewed as the senior pastor of a synod, or called to serve as the presiding bishop of the Elka. The call to common mission agreement with the Episcopal Church in 2000 means that bishops are now ordained in the apostolic succession and remain permanently in that office for life. The fixed term of service as head of a synod has not changed, and there was no requirement in 2000 for existing Elka bishops to be re-ordained within the historic episcopate. Instead, the apostolic succession was received as a sign of historic continuity, without denying the traditional Lutheran belief that the Church is truly present where the sacraments of baptism and Holy Communion are administered, regardless of the historic nature or otherwise of the ministry. Before 2000 a pastor had served in the office of bishop and then returned to being known simply as a pastor when service as a bishop had ended. Following the 2000 agreement a former bishop may still return to the work of a local pastor, but he or she now retains the status of bishop, even if not exercising that ministry. Worship <inaudible> 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 Published in 2006, Evangelical Lutheran worship is the main hymnal used in congregations. Some congregations, however, continue to use the older Lutheran Book of Worship published by the Inter-Lutheran Commission on Worship in 1978, and some even continue to use the Older Service Book and Hymnal of 1958 or its antecedent precedent setting Common Service of 1888 which laid out a traditional American Lutheran liturgy and later was included in subsequent worship books and hymnals of various churches especially the Common Service Book of 1917, adopted by the Old United Lutheran Church in America, a predecessor of the LCA to 1962, and the Lutheran Hymnal TLH of the LCMS. Many congregations also make use of supplementary resources recently published as well besides those authorized for the LBW by Augsburg Fortress, publishers. Many ELCA congregations are classically liturgical churches. Their liturgy is rooted in the Western liturgical tradition, though recent international Lutheran Orthodox dialogue sessions have had some minimal influence on Lutheran liturgy. 
Because of its use of the Book of Concord of 1580, with the confessions, documents and beliefs of the Reformers, including the Augsburg Confession of 1530, Luther S. Small Catechism of 1529 and the Large Catechism and its retention of many pre-Reformation traditions, such as vestments, feast days and the celebration of the church year, the sign of the cross, and the usage of a church-wide liturgy, there are many aspects of the typical Elka church that are very Catholic and traditional in nature. Many evangelical Lutheran churches use traditional vestments cassock, surplice, stole for services of the word or non-Eucharistic liturgies or alb, cincture, stole, chasuble pastor or dalmatic deacon, cope processions for Eucharists mass, Holy Communion, etc. On special rare occasions even a bishop's cross, crozier and mitre bishop. S headpiece have been used to designate the ancient robes and traditions of the church originating in Roman times of which Luther and his fellow reformers like Philip Melanchthon considered as adiaphora or of permissive use. Since the Second Vatican Council of the 1960s, most major parts of the Elka's popular liturgies are worded exactly like the English language mass of 1970 of the Roman Catholic Church. Many Elka congregations use informal styles of worship or a blend of traditional and contemporary liturgical forms. Springing from its revered heritage in the Lutheran chorale, the musical life of Elka congregations is just as diverse as its worship. Johann Sebastian Bach, the most famous Lutheran composer and African songs are part of the heritage and breadth of evangelical Lutheran church music. The musical portion of the Lutheran liturgy includes metrical psalter, metrical responses and hymns. Evangelical Lutheran worship has ten settings of Holy Communion, for example. They range from plainsong chant, to gospel, to Latin-style music. Congregations worship in many languages, many of which are represented in Evangelical Lutheran worship. Other books used in Elka churches include the Lutheran Book of Worship 1978, and its supplements, with one voice, This Far by Faith, and for Latino, Hispanic congregations, Libro de Liturgia y Cantico. Topic. Ecumenical relations Topic. The ELCA is a member of the National Council of Churches, the World Council of Churches, and Christian Churches together and is a partner in mission and dialogue with the Churches Uniting in Christ formerly the Consultation on Church Union formed in 1960. Topic. Full Communion The Church maintains full communion relationships with other member churches of the Lutheran World Federation which is a communion of 140 autonomous national, regional Lutheran Church bodies in 78 countries around the world, representing nearly 66 million Christians which was reorganized in 1948 from the earlier Lutheran World Convention of 1923. The ELCA has additionally full communion with the Episcopal Church, in which several congregations are jointly affiliated and hold mixed services. Also the ELCA has established official relationships with other Christian denominations such as the Moravian Church in America, the Presbyterian Church USA, the Reformed Church in America, the United Church of Christ, the Episcopal Church, and the United Methodist Church. In 2013, the Ethiopian Evangelical Church Makane Yesus severed ties, including communion and pulpit fellowship, with the Elka over the issue of homosexuality. <laughs> Roman Catholic Church on October 31, 1999, in Augsburg, Germany, the Lutheran World Federation, of which the ELCA is a member, signed the Joint Declaration on the Doctrine of Justification with the Roman Catholic Church. The statement is an attempt to reconcile a historical theological divide between the two faiths. The declaration also states that the mutual condemnations between 16th-century Lutherans and the Roman Catholic Church no longer apply to those that have signed onto the document. This was part of a series of Lutheran-Roman Catholic dialogues have been taking place on an official basis every few years with statements and booklets on various theological topics published since 1966. Topic: <laughs> Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Topic: 
The differences between the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America ELCA and the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod LCMS arise from theological, historical, and cultural factors. The LCMS was briefly in fellowship with the former The American Lutheran Church, one of the ELCA predecessor bodies from 1969 to the early 1980s. Although the denominations cooperate through Lutheran World Relief and some university, college student ministries and military chaplaincy, they are not officially in communion with each other. When the first Lutheran immigrants came to North America, they started church bodies that reflected, to some degree, the churches they left behind in Europe. Many maintained until the early 20th century their immigrant languages. They sought pastors from the old country until patterns for the education of clergy could be developed here. Eventually, seminaries and church colleges were established in many places to prepare pastors to serve congregations. The earliest predecessor synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America was constituted on August 25, 1748, in Philadelphia under the influence of Henry Mullenberg, known as the Patriarch of American Lutheranism. It was known as the Ministerium of Pennsylvania and adjacent states. The earliest nationwide synod, or Union of Synods, was established in 1820 as the General Synod, followed later by the General Council. The ELCA was created in 1988 by the merging of the 2.85 million member Lutheran Church in America 2.25 million member the American Lutheran Church 1960, and the 100,000 member Association of Evangelical Lutheran Churches 1978. Previously, the ALC and LCA in the early 1960s came into being as a result of two mergers of eight smaller ethnically based Lutheran bodies composed of German, Norwegian, Danish, Finnish, Swedish, Slovak, Dutch, and others organized over 150 years. Some of these smaller ethnically based bodies previously had ecumenical arrangements involving the Missouri Synod. The LCMS was established in 1847 by German immigrants fleeing the forced Prussian Union between Lutherans and Reformed Church members in European Germany, who later settled in Perry County, Missouri. It grew through immigration, offspring, and church mergers while participating in some, but not all of the dialogues, controversies, and compromises which affected the various predecessors of the ELCA during the 19th and 20th centuries. In the mid-1970s the Seminex controversy at their Concordia Seminary in St. Louis over use of historical critical biblical study led to the formation of the Association of Evangelical Lutheran Churches, later one of the predecessor bodies of the ELCA. The LCMS is the second largest Lutheran church body in North America with 2.1 million adherents. The ELCA tends to be more involved in ecumenical endeavors than the LCMS, which prohibits its clergy from worshiping in ecumenical gatherings. The ELCA is a member of the Lutheran World Federation, World Council of Churches and the National Council of Churches of Christ, USA. The LCMS rejects these as being unionist. Both the LCMS and the ELCA have policies relating to clergy sexual misconduct. Perry C. Francis, a former ELCA pastor turned professor, along with psychology professor Tracy D. Baldo, published the results of their 1994 study of clergy sexual misconduct in the journal Pastoral Psychology. Out of 270 ELCA and 117 LCMS clergy surveyed, 13.7% of ELCA clergy and 4.3% of LCMS clergy admitted to sexual misconduct with another person since they began their ministry. Results from the Pew Research Center U.S. Religious Landscape Survey of 2008. Comparison to LCMS in ELCA's point of view according to the Honoring Our Neighbor. S. Faith these conclusions are not agreed upon by the Wells or LCMS. Demographics Results from the Pew Research Center U.S. Religious Landscape Survey of 2008 Statistics over 500,000 people have left the ELCA since the Church's human sexuality decision in 2009. Approximately 700 congregations have voted to withdraw from the ELCA, representing about 7% of its 2009 congregational membership. The ELCA currently has a baptized membership of 3,563,842 people. 
In 2015, Pew Research estimated that 1.4% of the U.S. population, or roughly 4.4 million adherents, identify with the ELCA, and another 0.7%, or 2.2 million adherents, identify with mainline Lutheranism in general. Today, the ELCA has approximately 9,320 congregations. See also Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod Section Differences from the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America Protestantism in the United States References Further reading Bodensiek, Julius, ed. The Encyclopedia of the Lutheran Church, 3 Vol. 1965, Vol. 1 and 3 online free. Brower, James Leonard and Fred L. Precht, eds. Lutheran Worship, History and Practice, 1993. Granquist, Mark. Lutherans in America, A New History, 2015. Meyer, Carl S. Moving Frontiers, Readings in the History of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, 1986. Rober, A. G. Palatines, Liberty, and Property, German Lutherans in Colonial British America 1998. Trexler, Edgar R. Anatomy of a Merger, People, Dynamics, and Decisions that Shaped the Elka 1992. Wengert, Timothy J. and Mark Granquist, eds. Dictionary of Luther and the Lutheran Traditions 2017. Wolf, Edmund Jacob. The Lutherans in America, A Story of Struggle, Progress, Influence and Marvelous Growth. New York, J. A. Hill, 1889. A History of Many of the Bodies that Merged to Form the Elka. About the Concordat, 28 Questions about the Agreement between the Episcopal Church and the Evangelical Church of America i.e. the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Cincinnati, Ohio, Forward Movement Publications, 1997. 43p, without ISBN A Commentary on The Episcopal Church, Evangelical Lutheran Church in America Concordat of Agreement, ed., by James E. Griffs and Daniel Martinson. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Augsburg Fortress, Cincinnati, Ohio, Forward Movement Publications, 1994. 159p, ISBN 0-8066-2690-9. Concordat of Agreement, Between the Episcopal Church and the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Supporting Essays, ed., by Daniel F. Martinson. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Augsburg Fortress, Cincinnati, Ohio, Forward Movement Publications, 1995. 234p. ISBN 0-8066-2667-4 External links Topic. Denominational website Lutheran Episcopal Coordinating Committee Evangelical Lutheran Church in America's channel on YouTube